Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. But today, we are doing something a little bit different. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of the cookies, like I know Crumble Cookies is really huge and there's another American cookie company that has like really, really expensive cookies. I think they were like $8 each or even more expensive than that. Well, we have something here in Canada. We have YBR cookies, and I am so fortunate that they sent me all of these amazing cookies. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I think of these cookies, and then in the next video, I'm going to maybe do something a little bit special with these cookies. So let's open up this box first. So just from the description of these cookies, they sound really, really different than cookies I would normally gravitate towards, but actually I've never really heard of cookies with this type of texture. So they're quite puffy from what I can see. They're a lot puffier than your average cookie or my average cookie that I make. And I'm really curious because I think the whole big sell of this is that they're gooey in the center, which is really, really interesting to me. The one I am most excited to try is the limited edition. I believe this one is the Ferrero Rocher one. Really interested in trying that one. This one intrigues me because this one is the creme brulee. And I mean, generally, right, what's impressive and fun about a creme brulee cookie is that the top has a nice crackly crunch. So I'm not sure how that gets maintained when it's in a package, but we shall see. And then um, this one here I'm interested in, the salted chocolate chunk. I chose this one because I just felt like it's a classic. I need to taste their classic. I also feel like since gooey cookies is their thing, this is probably the thing that is going to do the best in terms of having that type of center. And then this one here is the um, score, and I think it's cookie butter. I'm sorry if I'm getting these descriptions wrong, um, but you'll know what I mean if you if you go and order it. So I received these cookies incredibly quickly. I placed my order and then I got them within like a day. So that was really good. And um, they came really fresh. I really enjoyed their packaging. I have a feeling that that type of packaging lends really well to these staying fresh. I've let these cookies rest for the one minute that it says. So let's see. So I'm not sure if I heated this long enough because um, it doesn't look super gooey to me. Looks delicious though and smells delicious. This is the salted um, chocolate chunk. Smells so good. And it smells like they use really good quality chocolate. The texture of this is so interesting to me. It's not your average cookie like at all. It's dense, rich in flavor, not overly sweet. Gives me that same satisfaction as like a chewy thin cookie would, but with way more oomph. All right, that classic was very, very good. I really like that one. I'm a sucker for chocolate chip cookies. Didn't quite have that like brown butter note that my own chocolate chip cookies have, but not missing in depth of flavor whatsoever. Very good. Let's try the creme brulee. Now this one, I don't, I don't hear anything. I hear a little something. Let's get it open. This one has more of a gooey center for sure. Don't think I heated it quite enough. It said 20 to 30 seconds, but I put mine all on one plate. So maybe I need to heat it up individually. Oh, that's quite delightful. Oh, that's really good. And even though some of maybe the textural goo is missing, I'm really liking it. It has a warmth to it as you bite into it, like freshly baked cookies. It has like ribbons of a white chocolate, or something going through there. I think it's white chocolate. And I am not a white chocolate fan. This is very surprising. Very, very surprising. That top lends to the feel of a creme brulee. Not quite the snap that you would get from like a traditional creme brulee, but I'm very impressed with the fact that 
the texture can mimic that of a traditional creme brulee on a cookie that's been in plastic packaging. That one was very surprising. Highly recommend that one if you are going to order cookies. Next up on the list is the cookie butter and score. Nice little cross section there. I love that these cookies don't fall apart. When you cut them, it is a drier texture, not so like chewy and gooey like I said, but it isn't falling apart everywhere. The crumb isn't everywhere, which is a sign of a good moist cookie. Interesting. This one to me tastes very, very similar to an Asian dessert I've had. Think the top of a pineapple bun. If you guys have ever had a Chinese pineapple bun, it, it tastes like the top of that. And we all know that the top is the best part. That is so good. Love it. And finally, let's get into my favorite one or the one that I think is going to be my favorite one. By far the gooeyest one out of all of them. Um, and I'm so impressed that the topping didn't completely like melt away. So I got that gooey inside, but the topping is still that nice kind of hardened shell. Mm. That's the one for me. It It's so chocolatey, it's so good. It has that right crunch from the hazelnuts on top and it has a really, really good hazelnutty, chocolatey flavor that I'm looking for. Ferrero Rocher's are one of my favorite chocolates of all time. So no doubt that I would love that one. You gotta hop on that one though, cause that one is a seasonal flavor. If you guys wanna try these cookies, if you've tried crumble cookies, you've tried all of the big ones, gotta try YVR cookies. Support us fellow Canadians. I will put a discount code right here. I will also put it down in the description box below. So if you use my code, you are going to get a little bit of a discount and uh, you're going to help support a Canadian company. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye. How is this so small? Is it good? Mm-hmm. What would you give it out of 10? I give 10 out of 10. I accidentally knocked the knife over. <laughs> also, be sure to check out the Bake Down podcast if you want to watch a really fun baking podcast. Or check out my secondary channel, Need More Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, if you are into lifestyle content. Bye!